Hey everybody, welcome back to HocusPocus.com. My name is David and this is a magic review. Today, we're gonna look at the Nightmare 321 rope trick from Nick Lewin. All right, so if you don't know who Nick Lewin is, he is a British magician, professional magician. He's been all over television, both performing magic and as a regular uh, guest on several different TV shows. He's performed on cruise lines, he's headlined comedy clubs, and right now Nick is releasing his entire act in the hopes to inspire professional magicians and those who wish to become professionals. He's sharing all of his classics, sharing his knowledge, and he's hoping that he's gonna shave off the learning curve for a lot of people out there. What this trick is, it is the classic uh, three ropes transform into one rope. So you have three ropes of various sizes. You have a super long rope, a medium sized rope, and a teeny tiny rope. Uh, you, you watch as you make all three ropes appear to be the same size, and then you tie them all together end to end, and then they all magically become one rope. It is a classic of magic, absolute classic of magic. You've probably seen other people copying this, but this is Nick Lewin's uh, original effect. All right, so say you're interested in this, you wanna get this, what can you expect? Uh, you're gonna get a plastic bag, okay? A plastic bag holding everything. You're gonna get the DVD, you're getting a real DVD. DVD is 47 minutes of instruction, so tons of information. Uh, you're gonna get three ropes, and we'll talk about that a little later. And you're gonna get a little um, a handout, a little printed handout, uh, explaining a little bit more about uh, Lewin Enterprises. So after having watched the trailer, I don't think I was surprised when I received uh, the products, I knew that the ropes would be standard. I knew there would be no gimmickry there. This is the classic Pat Conway rope trick, um, and it's using the same ropes as the ropes that are in Professor's Nightmare, which is why it's called the Nightmare 321 rope trick. It uses the same ropes as that. I think if you watch the trailer all the way through, you'll see that um, the ropes are inspected by audience members. Uh, Nick allows people to pull on them and tug on them and see that they're real ropes. So yes, everything is totally inspectable, which is great for a stage illusion. How often uh, we use really big, heavy, gimmicky props and stage illusions. These are real ropes. So with that, then your angles are really du super duper clean as well. Uh, there's a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna call them slights, but there's a little bit of concealment that has to take place, uh, some optical illusions that you have to create. But um, I think, of course, with practice, they're gonna be uh, almost completely invisible. You're really gonna have no bad angles on this at all. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Uh, it's good, it is good. Uh, you're gonna get a live performance. Like I said, you're gonna get a live performance on stage. And then uh, the rest of the video is Nick back in a magic library setting where he's going over everything for you. It does have you know, good sound, good video, and uh, I think Nick definitely explains everything you need to know. Is it well made? Um, that's the thing is like you go to the store and you try to buy your own rope. There's a lot of trial and error if you just go to the hardware store and you end up finding this isn't the rope I wanted or it comes apart or frays when you cut it. So what Nick has done is he's found the very best rope to use. This is Baronian rope, okay? Baronian rope is the number one uh, type of rope that is preferred by most magicians. Nick himself will even tell you that he's had his own set for 15 years. So, you know, keep your hands clean and take care of your rope and it's gonna last you a very long time. So let's say you get this in the mail, how long is it gonna take you to be able to perform this to where you could get on stage and perform it as well as Nick does? Uh, probably a long time, but um, I think initially, some of the easy parts you're gonna get right away. I think the concept itself of the entire routine is not hard to grasp. You will understand it, it won't be confusing to you. Um, and I think from that point on, it's gonna be uh, you being able to do the patter, the story, and uh, do the slights all together so that it looks natural, right? Because what you're doing is you're creating this beautiful optical illusion and you're doing it through the, the pattern, and you're doing it through your audience interaction. So I certainly think there are people that could do this quickly and perform it clumsily on stage and get by, but that's not the goal. The goal isn't to get by. The goal is to make this look super duper clean, professional, just as good as Nick. So I'm gonna say, yes, it's gonna take you some practice. Because these aren't gimmick ropes, Right? I think gimmicks sometimes help us and they're a crutch. 
Um, but there's nothing gimmicked here. So this is all on you. This is gonna be your routine. This is gonna be your professional uh, presentation. So I think it's gonna take some practice. But there's no setup and reset because like I said, they're regular ropes. So setup, reset, none. I mean, you just walk out. All you need are these three ropes and an audience and you're good to go. Like I said, it's a wonderful trick, classic of magic. I think everyone's seen uh, a three rope trick somewhere, you know, whether it's this one or uh, Professor's Nightmare or something similar, like people have seen rope tricks. You know, sometimes you even come out with the full length of rope and you cut it in front of the audience. I've seen that as well. You certainly could do it that way if you went out and purchased your own rope, absolutely. Um, but I think, like I said, every magician, right? Every stage magician should probably know at least one rope trick. It's, it's good for diversity. I think audiences expect it. Um, and why not have it be this one? All right, so is it worth your money? Is it worth your money? It is $65, okay? $65, and like I said, you're getting three ungimmicked ropes and a 47 minute DVD. You might be thinking to yourself, wait, that's highly overpriced. Let me just explain how pricing works sometimes with magic, okay? Sometimes in magic, there are people who are trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to break into the industry, okay? And they're trying to release a product to get themselves known. That's not who Nick Lewin is. He is already known. He is already a professional. He is already famous, okay? So you kind of have the flip side on this. The flip side on this is now you have someone who's an industry professional selling their routines. That's generally not inexpensive. So true, you're not paying for rope. You're not paying for DVDs. You are paying for a routine. You're paying for a routine, not a trick. Like I said at the beginning of this, this is magic for professional performers or people who wanna be professional performers. Who would like this? I think anyone who's looking to get their very first rope trick or maybe a twist on Professor's Nightmare, I think would definitely like the Nightmare 321 rope trick from Nick Lewin. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about this effect. Of course, I wanna thank hocus-pocus.com for allowing me to have this trick so that I could review it for you. And I would highly encourage you to hit purchase right now. Uh, this is a great, great trick. Thanks, bye.